Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different video. Um, so I did a my protein order a few weeks ago actually, um, and I showed I think I showed you some of the bits in one of my other videos. And I had so many questions about what I thought about the products, how they tasted, all this different stuff. So I was gonna jump on and do another order, and I thought why not kind of talk you through the bits I did get and give you my honest opinion on the taste, whether they're worth the money, stuff like that. So I ordered way more stuff um, and I was, yeah, gonna run you through everything in this box, my honest opinion. We've got some limited edition stuff in here as well. Um, and then also the stuff that I got last time, I'm gonna do a bit of a taste review. But first, um, in here somewhere, here we go breakfast yet I'm really hungry I ordered some of this to try and um, this is the protein pancake mix in chocolate and for I've mentioned this briefly on my Instagram as well but basically I've signed on to do a program with a coach so I've signed up with a professional to rather than me doing it um, to properly do my macros for me so I'm tracking macros at the moment um, so I basically track everything that I eat in a day, try and hit a certain amount of calories, carbs, protein, fats, um, and then I have different kind of days for different amounts of rest days and training days. So I'm following a full nutrition kind of plan and workout training plan as well, because even though I can't go to the gym right now, I don't wanna let that stop me. You know, I've got goals, and like I've said this before, that um, it's not so much a weight thing, but I just don't feel really fit and like healthy at the moment and I really want to get my ass in gear and get really nice and fit and healthy again. So that's the driving force for me. I have to eat a lot more protein than I'm used to so hence why I'm kind of trying to find stuff that would be um, nice kind of alternatives to have if you are looking for a protein boost. So macros on these um, per 50 gram serving, 184 calories, 3.3 grams of fat, fat 7.6 of carbs and 31 grams of protein. So that is a ton load of protein. And I've said this before as well, um, I don't really eat meat. Um, I just, yeah, I have a lot of fish and seafood. I don't really eat meat. I'm not vegetarian, I'm not pescatarian. I just like, I don't know, I just don't really eat it. Um, having said that, I am craving a Nando's though, but here we are. So I don't really eat a lot of meat. This is why I kind of look at other alternatives to kind of get a little bit more protein in my diet. And before anyone, like, I appreciate any advice that people want to give. Just putting it out there, I'm not really looking for any advice. I obviously have advice that I'm following that I trust. So I'm just kind of talking you through things that I've ordered just to try out and see if I like them or not. But anyway, I'm going to track loads. I'm going to cook these up now and I'm going to let you know what I think of them because protein pancakes can be fantastic or they can be shocking. So, dietary food for athletes, babe. That's us. That's, yeah, that's us. Right, to make your own protein packed pancakes, add two large scoops to 100 slash 150 milliliters of milk or water. Basically mix it together, fry it like a pancake. I'm gonna do milk because I think it'll just taste a lot better than milk. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to the camera. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were on a little break there. No, I'm, I'm making pancakes. <laughs> right. A hundred, bye, have a good run. 150 millilitres. It's a good thing Steve's just left because I bet he'd get me to make him some as well. And these are my pancakes, so that's not gonna happen. Right, that's 150 milliliters of that. And it's too large. This is a very small bag. I don't know how many servings there are in here. This is a 200 gram bag. And each serving's 50 grams. So there's only four servings in this bag. Oh. 
They do these in bigger bags, by the way, and I can't remember if I said already, but they this is the chocolate one. They do unflavored. See, they did like blueberry ones. Um, but this girl loves her chocolate, so that's why I've got this one. It was two large scoops, wasn't it? Yeah, two large scoops. I wish I'd kind of weighed this out because I don't trust these scoops. I normally put the um, my shaker on the scale and do it. Right. Two large scoops of that, my little blender bowl. Um, by the way, blender, recommend, not blender, what are these called shakers? This is by Blender Bottle. Um, it's like a personalized one, it was like a gift, but these shakers are my favorite and they don't leak, so. This isn't for you. Let's take a look at that. It just smells like um, protein, like a protein shake to be honest. But right, let's take this over and put it in the pan. Okay, so I completely messed it up basically because I put way too much of the mix in the pan and burn it. But I made two like ridiculously thick pancakes. So you could probably make like three um, normal ones. If not, maybe about four if you want them thinner. But anyway, super easy to cook. I've literally just got some raspberries. You probably can't even see this. Some raspberries and blueberries to put on top and then this is another thing I got actually I've had this for a while it's taken me so long to get through it um it's the my protein sugar free syrup it's like a low calorie chocolate syrup so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on half of it to begin with because I want to try some without the syrup but I mean considering I burnt it it doesn't look that bad right let's I don't think it's, as, it's cooked as much as it should be because I did them way too thick. All right, let's try this. I need to try a bit that's not burnt. That's really not bad. That's actually quite nice. It's difficult to give an honest opinion because I've messed it up. So like, because I've burnt the outside, like I've done them way too thick. The outside's a bit chewy because I've burnt it and then the inside's still a bit like mushy. But the taste of them is actually really good. They're not very chocolatey only like a little bit chocolatey but I don't mind that because I'd rather add more flavours on top um, that syrup I put on I think that's always great to have as like an extra mm. it's not like proper chocolate syrup but it's just like an extra something that's really good on like oats things like that as well but yeah not too bad at all I'm quite impressed let me tell you how much it was Okay, so I got the 200 gram bag, which was five pounds. Um, oh my God, they have so many flavors. Blueberry chocolate, which is what I got. Cookies and cream, golden syrup, matcha, nut nougat cream, or unflavored. I'm tempted to try the golden syrup flavor. Oh, that you can literally only buy them in 200 gram bags. How weird. But the bag in the photo looks so much bigger. Maybe they're just out of stock. But what I will say, is with my protein and a lot of other kind of supplement brands they have like sales on all the time so when i ordered this stuff a couple of days ago um they have it says 16th birthday which is why i have some limited edition stuff at the moment um so they have 45 percent off code um and the code's b day and yeah gets you 45 percent off so i mean that bag was more like £2.50 than it was £5. I can't figure out how much. 
that was. But anyway, so everything I ordered was like 45% off. And another thing I'll say is if you follow anyone, I don't work with my protein. So this is all like completely honest reviews. I've bought all this stuff myself. But a lot, of, um, there are a lot of people who work with my protein and I think they get 47% off um, codes that they share with people. So if you follow anyone who is affiliated with my protein, go use one of their codes as well because you'll get more off. But yeah, I personally wouldn't order unless I was using a code. I'd always make sure I had a code because why pay full price when you can get it for cheaper? But anyway, so overall I think these are pretty good. I would order again. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're not like incredible, tastes like an actual pancake, but for the macros on it, I think it's totally worth it. And I personally, there's only so, like, trying to get protein in when you don't eat meat is quite difficult without eating like loads of eggs and, you know, stuff like that. And I have quite a sweet tooth, so, would I have this every single morning? No, I wouldn't, because I think it's quite an expensive way to get it in. But sometimes I have a sweet tooth in the morning and it's nice to know that I can have something like this and stay on track. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna order again, but I think I might try the golden syrup flavor next because I think that'll be a little bit more like versatile. I mean, I'm a big eater and I looked at that portion and thought, am I gonna be stuffed after this? And I actually was, like I am. So, definitely a great option if you're looking for like a protein packed breakfast. I think Steve's just come back from his run because Rocky's whining, aren't you? Yes. I've got everything out. I'm going to talk you through the things that I got last time first. So, I've already talked you about that um, syrup, which I got ages ago. Protein mix, just um, protein pancake mix, just been through that. This has been my ride or die protein at the moment. So I've decanted it into a different container, but it's the Impact Whey Protein. Hello. Hello. You all right? Yeah. Baby. Oh yeah, nice. Yes. Is it hot out? It's pretty hot out. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Um, yeah, this is the Impact Whey Protein. And I, I've got some more of it, but this is natural vanilla. And it's so nice. Like I don't like anything that's too artificially sweet. And it's like a really nice subtle vanilla flavour. And it goes with loads of stuff you want to blend with fruit, whatever, it's good. <laughs> I'll be out the way in a second. Yeah, featuring Sorry. a very sweaty steam. <laughs> Sorry. I need a drink so bad. Sorry. <laughs> right, anyway, these two are some of my favourites as well. You like these as well, don't you? It's like sauces, yeah. yeah. Um, so they do these sugar-free sauces. So we have a barbecue and a sweet chilli. And they're legit really good. I yeah. thought they'd be like taste really weird. And they're just, they're actually really, really good. Um, and then like in each of them, I mean like the calories are just really low. They're just like a better alternative if you do want to jazz your food up a little bit like we do. I mean, I feel like my cooking's probably like relatively bland anyway. I would say that. I would, but anyway. So, been using those so much, definitely worth it, would recommend. Um, let's talk about, oh, I haven't shown you this as well. So, this I got last time. So many of you guys were interested in this because it's the Clear Way Isolate um, and basically it's just like a clear protein powder. So I got the peach tea flavor and in this, I just, little disclaimer, most of this stuff is just stuff to like boost my protein intake. I prefer to get my protein sources from food um, and more like, I don't know, you know what I mean. Um, but on days where I'm really struggling to get it in, um, this is really good to have as just like an extra because in a serving of this, that is 20 grams of protein, which is really, really handy, it's only 84 calories. And flavor wise, it's not too bad. Um, I'm making it sound really bad. I really like it, I really enjoy it. Steve really likes it as well. I will say that it's quite, um, it's not a really, really strong flavor. It's not like a, you know, really, really strong peach tea flavor. It's quite like a watered down peach tea, but it is really nice. It's very, very easy to drink. It's great, like I blended it with ice the other day. It was so nice, like a really nice summery drink. 
to be able to have that and make know that you're getting in a little bit more protein on days that you need it is really really good and steve loves it as well so that's why he's ordered one because he keeps on trying to poach my one and i was like mm -mm -mm, no honey so yeah love that i just had so many questions about that last time whether it was actually decent or not and it is and it blends really really well as, as well so i've done it in like a just a handshake or just shaking it up or done it in my actual electric blender great both ways and protein bars so i'm like beyond fussy with protein bars um i hate that kind of really dense oh, i don't know like to, it just tastes like cardboard I, I hate that it has to taste like actual chocolate to me otherwise i'm not going to eat it you know so i my favorite ones for my protein i don't have any at the moment are actually the protein rocky roads they are awesome but it's just that the macros on them aren't as good as some of the other ones that's why i don't order those ones um but i do love them so i might get another box at some point as like a treat but i thought i would order ones that had like better macros especially now that i'm really trying to like hone down on what i eat and what's going in my body and stuff so i've been having these ones so these are the carb crusher dark chocolate and sea salt really really good so each of these has 21 grams of protein in um like i said i use these as like a way to boost my protein intake this is my whole all the protein i ate all the protein i eat throughout the day doesn't just come from this stuff it obviously comes from foods but having things like this especially when you have a sweet tooth like me is really really handy to have in the cupboard um and yeah like it does taste like dark chocolate it's like a nice soft but it's like it's just really really easy to eat does it taste like a real chocolate bar no it never will but it's pr i think it's pretty close and i've honestly i really enjoy them i look forward to having them i've been having them like for pudding and stuff so really really love these and then i actually i've got a plate here because i'm gonna open up some of this stuff and actually taste them right now because I've got some more of them in different flavors. So this was my protein pro carb crusher. And then these are just my protein carb crusher. So I got fudge brownie and I got peanut butter. So let's try the fudge brownie first. So, I mean, that looks pretty good. If you can see it or not, focusing on my fat head. It looks pretty good. Smells a bit weird. When you cut it, it's like proper, it, it looks like fudge. That's not bad. That's definitely no way near as good as the dark chocolate and the sea salt. The chocolate on it's nice, I just... Mm, the fudge tastes a bit weird to me. I don't know if I'm in love with that. Hmm. Maybe it's because I've just eaten like... pancakes. Do you know what? It does taste like fudge, but I think... I was expecting it's a fudge brownie and there is like a layer of chocolate on the top bit i mean look, it's covered in chocolate but there's like a brownie bit cov um layer there i can't use my words today but i was expecting it to be more of like a brownie like a fudge brownie whereas it's more fudge um i don't know i'd give it like a six out of ten it's just not really for me but i'm not a massive kind of i love like chocolate but i'm not really kind of like sweet person so this is the peanut butter flavor peanut butter is way more up my street looks very very similar oh oh that's really peanutty it'd be interesting i'll see if steve wants to try some of these in a minute because he would definitely lean more towards the fudge whereas i would lead always lean more towards peanut butter it looks really really soft and like um it looks like the in like a thicker reese's peanut butter cup 
It smells really good. Oh, that is nice. That's really nice. I didn't expect it to have a layer of like, I don't know what that is. Like caramelly stuff. It's not a really, really strong peanut flavor. I don't think anyway. Um, it's quite nice and like subtle. I personally think like the dark chocolate's so much nicer. If these were in dark chocolate, I just think they'd be so much better. But consistency, this is really nice. It's kind of like, um, the consistency is a bit like cookie dough and it's got like a subtle peanut flavor, which is weird because it smells really strong. But I really like that. I'd give that an eight out of 10. I'd give the dark chocolate and sea salt a nine out of 10 and I'd give the fudge brownie a six out of 10. But that may just be personal taste. Steve? Did you want to try any of these protein bars? Uh, what ones have you got? I've got peanut butter and fudge brownie. Yep. Sorry? Yeah, You can be brutally honest. Yeah, I can be brutally honest. Right, I'm gonna give you some of this one first. This is the fudge brownie one. Okay. So what have you got, sorry? Fudge brownie and fudge, peanut butter. That's fudge brownie. Just tell me what you think of that. No. You don't like that? No. I gave that a 6 out of 10. Oh, he's really not a fan. Like a 3? Really? Oh my god, like I didn't, wasn't in love with it, but I didn't think it was a 3. No, that tastes awful. It's have, really, have some water. Because that's really powdery. Do you not think? Do you think? think? Yeah. But it's meant, I think it, it's meant to be like fudge. I think the consistency is fudgy. But I don't really food. like fudge. Yeah, but it's, it's still powdery. Do you not think? I didn't think so. You really like these ones, don't you? The dark yeah, ones. Yeah, I'm a big fan Right. You're are not... they the same, like, brand? Not, obviously, I know they're all my protein, but so are they that's like, carb my, crusher? That one's my protein pro, oh, and okay. then these are my protein, but they're all carb crushers. Okay. Um. Right, this one. So you're not a mass, you're a bit take it or leave it with peanut butter. But this is, yeah, peanut butter. Just sort of peanut butter. Yeah. It looks the same, like, consistency inside. Hang on, what? Oh, no, that is a different one. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. What would you give it out of 10? Like a six. Mate, you're brutal. Hmm. But you love the grenade bars, and I'm not that bothered about grenade bars. What? That is nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. six, seven. That's really, See, that is nice. To me, I gave that, what did I give it? I gave that one a eight and I gave the dark chocolate one a nine. Yeah, I'd give the dark chocolate a nine And then I gave well. the fudge a six, but I just thought it's not my, I'm not really, I thought it said fudge brownie. I thought it was gonna be more like chocolate brownie with fudge in it. And it's not. And it's like fudge mm. with like a little. Out, out of those three, if you include the dark chocolate one, the dark chocolate one wins hands down. I can eat yeah, that yeah, all day, yeah. every day. Yeah, but it's really good, isn't it? I, I would be tempted to try a box of those instead of my grenade bars. Oh, I don't really rate the grenade bars. I think they're just okay. The only reason I have the box, so I get the grenade selection boxes. And the only reason I do that is so that I'm not eating the same one every day. Yeah. But. Anyway, I think these boxes are about 20 quid for a box of 12. But obviously really? they had that, um, well, how much are your grenade bars? 31 for two boxes of 12. Well, what I was going to say is that I got 45% 40, off. Oh, uh, well, yeah, okay, you're so, cheaper Yeah, yeah, that's what, that, that's what I was saying, is that I wouldn't order unless it was like, so I, th I think it maybe worked about 10, 12 pounds, I don't know, for each box. So really disappointed with Fudge Brownie. I thought they were not great. Um, I didn't think Steve would hate, I thought he'd maybe prefer them more than me. Um, but peanut butter is really nice. It's nice to have like a little rotation so you're not getting bored um, because I've had like a couple of boxes of these dark chocolate ones now. So that's why I wanted to try something else. But yeah, I would recommend the peanut butter ones. Not the fudge ones though. And what else do we have in here? Oh, I got some of these. I wore the bra yesterday, so it's upstairs, but they have these really cute little matching sets. 
So I got, um, this is the Seamless Thong in Extra Large, and I got the, um, Rocky, they're not for you, mate. Um, I got the crop top kind of bra thing as well, which is, they're really, really nice, thick seamless material. Quality feels really good. I sized down on the bra. I, I got a medium, I really don't know why I got a medium, because I'm obviously not. The reason I want to go down in size is because I wanted it to actually hold my boobs up um, and be really tight, but a medium's, it does fit, but it's a little bit too tight. So I probably, if I were to reorder, would get a large. Um, but those were nice. Um, this is the limited edition thing that Steve got. So this was 15 pounds. You can see there's a size difference, which we didn't realize when we were ordering. Um, so the big ones are 20 pounds, I believe. I'm gonna link everything down below, so don't take my word for it. Go check out the link. Um, so the big, these ones are um, 20 pounds, you get 488, which is 20 servings. And then the, the smaller ones are 15 pounds, which is only 10 servings, it's 250 grams. So you get half the amount of servings. Um, these are 20, these are 15. And also these ones, the voucher code like does work on, these ones it doesn't. So I would definitely recommend getting these ones. Um, Steve did want the orange mango, but they were out of stock, but the peach tea is really good. And I think they have a mojito, but mojito is not really like my kind of flavor. But anyway, so part of their birthday kind of release thing they've done, their 16th birthday, they've gotten these kind of like old school sweets and like replicated them in the clear way, some of the protein bars as well. Um, so we've got some of this to try. So we got drumstick, it was swizzle sweets, I think that's what they're called. Like I said, I don't really like sweets. I like chocolate, but I don't really like sweets or anything like that. So you can get this in drumstick. I think it had like Palm of Violets, Love Hearts, um, another one, like refreshers, I think. Um, so I, we tried some of this last night and I, I honestly was like, I'm gonna hate this. I do like drumsticks, but I was like, it's gonna be awful. It legit smells like drumsticks and it actually it's actually really really nice like i i was expecting it to be sickly sweet really disgusting just not my kind of thing um but it's really nice and it's really weird because it does taste like drumsticks in a weird kind of way it's kind of like more it's more of a subtle taste i'd say but it's basically raspberry and milk flavor with sweetener but again Really good way to get the protein in, 20 grams of protein per serving. Um, so yeah, I like, I go try it out just to experience it because it is really, really nice. And I was honestly just so surprised because that is not like something I would have personally ordered. I never in a million years thought I would like that. And it does actually taste like drumsticks, which is so weird, but it's, it is definitely more of a kind of, it's not a really strong, really, really sweet flavour, but I think that's great because it's more drinkable. And um, yeah, with both of those, you literally just mix it with water, drink it, you're good to go. So I am a massive fan of those clear ways. I, since I've got mine when I've had it a few weeks, I've only had it a few times because like I said, I only use it on days where I'm like, kind of like struggling to get my protein in a little bit more, but they are definitely great to have in the cupboard. And that's why Steve ordered that because he was like a massive fan as well. And then, right, before I forget, because this keeps on rolling around, flavor drops or flav, flav drops. I was calling them flavor drops. So my protein do these, they're little like um, zero calorie, zero fat, zero sugar, kind of like sweetness and different flavors. And I have the, oh, what is it? Like cookie dough? Let me go check butter biscuits what I have. So I've only had that a couple of weeks and you can see how much I've used of it. And you, you only use like a few drops as well. So I have this in my coffee. I've had it in um, like natural yogurt, in, what else have I had it in? Oh my God, just loads of stuff. It's so, so nice. If you, like me, have a bit of a sweet tooth. Um, so like I said, I don't like sweets, but I like chocolate biscuits, things like that. 
but it's just really nice to give stuff like a little extra kind of sweet and make it feel naughty and it's not. Um, so butter biscuit is amazing. I got one of the chocolate ones because I thought that'd be really good in oats as well. Hmm, it smells quite like... That is nice. I'll have to like fully report back on that one because I can't really eat much more right now. Um, right, and then last but not least, um, I told you this is my ride or die protein powder, the Impact Whey Protein. So I got two more of these and I got them in the smaller bag. So obviously getting a big bag is always way more cost effective and I would always just like pay more to get a bigger bag because it just works out so much cheaper. But when trying new flavours, there's no way I'm committing to a big bag if I don't know. So the natural vanilla, love it, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to get a big bag of that once I finish that. I also wanted to try this. So they do, um, they obviously do like a normal vanilla flavour, but then they do like the natural flavours as well, which I think for me is better because I don't like that really sweet taste. So I got natural banana. I had this yesterday and I literally just had it in a shaker with milk. Um, I've been told I say milk really weirdly as well. Um, and it's okay. It's, I don't know, like it would be really, really nice in a shake with stuff. I don't act like, I mean, to be honest, I hardly ever just have a shake just on its own. I always put fruit in and stuff like that and have like smoothie bowl, bowls or proper shakes with like frozen fruit and stuff. So it's kind of difficult to judge, but I think this would be really, really good with mixed in with fruit. So I had it by itself and it was okay. I wasn't like, oh my God, this is amazing. And it wasn't disgusting. It was a kind of subtle banana milkshake taste, like very, very subtle. But like I said, I actually think I will love this a lot. And it's nice to have a few different flavors on the go to like mix it up. So, yes, I do rate that, but I think it's one of those ones that would be far better mixed in with other stuff. And then I've got one of these to try as well. So exactly the same, the Impact Free Protein. This is Cinnamon Danish. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna mix some of this up now and try some, but then put it in the fridge and have it, have it later. Right, so this says 150 mils to 200. This shaker is so difficult to see through. Like, what is the point in that? It's got measurements on the side, but you can't actually see how much milk you've poured in. Okay, this could be life-changing and incredible, or it could be awful. Oh! <laughs> Rocky, that, no, it's still not for you, hun. Smells very cinnamon Danishy. I'm really tempted to get Steve to try this as well because this is just so not him. Steve only has vanilla protein and he buys the same one every single time and he never changes. Interesting. Let's put that to one side before I knock it all over. Okay. Smelling relatively good. I hope I've mixed it up enough. Like I say, I normally like blend it in my blender. It smells good. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, okay. I actually really like that. That would be incredible in like oats and stuff. It's like a really nice, it does taste like cinnamon danishy, but it's quite subtle. It's not really overpowering, over sweet, which like I said a million times, it's not my vibe. Steve? Yeah? I've got another thing for you to try if you want. Okay. 
This isn't your usual cup of tea, but I think it's really nice. Oh, it's that cinnamon, cinnamon Danish. My brain is not working cinnamon today. Cinnamon Danish protein. Cinnamon Danish protein. Mm. You are not really. I'm skeptical already. This is not Steve's kind of flavour whatsoever. Nice. Like, well, that's the thing. Is like that's the kind of thing you would normally that's hate. The thing. Oh. That's a well, you would normally hate this kind of flavour. Mm. I think it's really nice though. But do you, like, try it out. See what you think. That's okay. As oh, you yeah. said, it's not my. It's not your cup of tea, is it? I wouldn't have loads of that. It's okay. But I think with most protein shakes, like we don't, we never ever have a protein shake just mixed up with milk. He says that as he goes in the fridge to get frozen fruit in the freezer. Yeah. So we both personally always mix it with frozen fruit and stuff like that. So it's really nice, thick consistency, really creamy. Um, yeah, we never ever just have it just mixed with milk. So that's why it's kind of difficult to judge. I really like that, and I would drink that on its own, hands down. I think that's nicer than the banana. Um, I haven't tried the natural vanilla just with milk, but I'm sure that'd be really nice as well. Is the but banana the one you tried yesterday? Yesterday with banana, babe. Yeah, it's gross. Oh my God, you're so difficult. It's not gross. It's gross. It's not gross, oh my God, I give up. If, if it's not vanilla, he's not having it, basically. So, right, my camera just cut out. Anyway, I think they're really, really good. And I personally like the impact. Babe, do you want to be any louder, mate? <laughs> anyway, um, I really like the impact ways. Um, and I personally think the flavours are spot on. And they're not over sweet, over flavoured, like a lot of other proteins that I've tried. So... I am a massive fan. I am a recent convert to the my protein protein, aren't I? Yeah. I've tried quite a lot of proteins in the past, but these are really good, and I think the pricing is really good. The flavor spot on. Um, they always have really good discounts, stuff like that. So overall, I think that was pretty successful. How were the pancakes? They they were, they were really good, but I burnt them. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I'm gonna put that down to human fault. I'm gonna put the lid back on this because I'm gonna have that later after my workout and blend it with some, some other stuff, I think, and try it out again then. But anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. I just wanted to like, rather than just showing you products and being like, I got this, I wanted to actually give you my honest opinion on stuff. And like I said, pretty much everything I love, apart from that fudge protein bar, I think everything else was like a success. Um, but yeah, I've also done a um, try on haul with some of their stuff before as well. So I'll link that as well in case you guys want to go try that out. Um, yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you never miss an upcoming video. Like I said, all the links will be down below if you do want to go and check them out. Um, but until next time, I will see you guys later.